So the AEW show at the uh, United Center in Chicago is uh, completely sold out. They had 1,020 tickets left, according to WrestleTix. And they sold all 1,020 in four minutes. The total number of tickets sold via pre-sale and today 13,654. It's uh, pretty much completely sold out. I suppose they could add some suites, etc. But there is a stage, uh, which of course WWE uses a large stage as well. But I'm sure people won't mention that when they get angry that there aren't 19,000 people in this building. But there you go, 13,654. Raw tonight also sold out. And uh, they have uh, 12,444 tickets out, uh, which in fact includes a stage. Uh, maybe they should take the stage down and sell some more tickets. So uh, that show is sold out. I've been missing all of this discourse. Is this really what people are oh, yeah. used to now? Yeah. Oh, you could get 18,000 people in that uh, United Center. AEW is doing terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's crazy. AEW Homecoming on Wednesday. Uh, they have sold 2,000 uh, tickets. There are about 1,000 left over for Daly's Place. And uh, finally, the update, the Arthur Ashe Stadium is uh, currently at 17,000 tickets sold. There are 1,700 tickets left. Uh, that show will also completely sell out. It's going to look wild. It would be very interesting to see what the aesthetics are and how they set everything up and the entrances, all that sort of stuff. That is a it's a different venue, that is for sure. And AEW, uh, during the pandemic, was able to have the incredible luck that their owner of their uh, franchise is the son of the owner of a football franchise who's got an amphitheater right there, which made for some really cool visuals. And GCW running outside the last couple of years and just more and more shows like that. You know, the interesting type of buildings and aesthetics that we've seen. And this is going to be another one with Arthur Ashe. It's going to be a very, very interesting, interesting layout for all that. And obviously a packed house. All right. So Adam Cole, this from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. Adam Cole's contract with the WWE is reportedly set to expire this month. Wrestling Inc. originally reported Cole's contract was set to expire after SummerSlam weekend. Fightful Select further reported Cole's contract was actually back up uh, up back in early July, but he extended the contract, told WWE he would work through SummerSlam weekend. It was said in the Fightful Report his contract being up last month was a surprise. So here's the story, everybody. Early July, I think the first week of July, somewhere around there, all of a sudden, holy smokes, Adam Cole's contract has expired. And so... Uh, they they began discussions with him. And I have not talked to Adam Cole at any point during any of this. But Adam Cole is a super nice guy. And he's been on our show many times. Uh, back before, obviously, he went to WWE. And the one thing you can say about Adam Cole is he is a super nice guy and he's a professional. And so they went to him and they said, listen, can you work through SummerSlam and then we'll go from there. And he said, sure. So at this point, he is with the company through SummerSlam weekend. And at that point, who knows? Now, if you remember, I think this was also sometime early in January. It was reported that Canyon Seaman had been released. Mm -hmm. Seaman had been released was the story. Ah. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, it turns out uh, Seaman was not released. That was kind of mm. weird. It's like, rarely do you have an... And the thing about... Listen, you get stories, and then it turns out that the stories are not true. But the interesting uh, story when it comes to semen being released is that this was a story that was talked about by all sorts of people within WWE. Like, it wasn't an internet rumor, and then WWE immediately shut it down. It was like, it the story got out... And everybody in WWE was talking about, like, oh, who's going to replace Seaman, et cetera, et cetera. Well, then all of a sudden it turns out, oh, he's not released. And I was immediately thinking, wait a second, this is weird. Because this was a discussion point within the company. And now you're saying that Seaman is not released. Well, then a few weeks later, Seaman is, in fact, released after a long delay. So uh, that's the story. And uh, it is it is strongly believed 
that uh, this stems from, and you could probably go back and, and put these pieces together, but I'm pretty sure that the reason that semen was released was this Adam Cole contract situation here. So then we have what everyone always gets into when these stories come out. Oh my God, he must be going to AEW. And obviously there's a reason people think that Adam Cole would be going to AEW. Number one, he is uh, dating their uh, women's champion. Britt Baker. And, of course, he's been in NXT for, like, four straight years, and there seems to be no rush to bring him up to the main roster. And I would think, and listen, I'm saying this as the biggest fan of Adam Cole, my guess is that he would go to the main roster and they would do zilch with him. I would hope he would not be running after the 24-7 title, but I have I have learned my lesson about having any confidence in anybody being called up from NXT. So, of course, when you hear all that, you think, well, obviously he's going to immediately go to AEW. Well, the thing I also have to realize about Adam Cole is that uh, he is a huge fan of Shawn Michaels and Triple H, and they are running NXT, okay? So I have no idea what he's going to do. Like, I've heard forever that he's working with his childhood idols. And he's there, and he's working with Shawn Michaels, and Shawn Michaels loves Adam Cole, and they push Adam Cole. So I don't know what he's going to do, and I don't know what they're going to offer him, because this is one of those things where they have to be embarrassed. Remember, like, uh, it was 2008 or something like that, when uh, The Rock's contract expired? And they literally said it was a clerical error that The Rock's contract expired. Now, of course, there was no AEW then. It was not like Rock is going to go to Impact. But, I mean, they had egg on their face. And the word getting out here, that was another a famous example from the 90s, but the word getting out that um, Adam Cole's contract expired and we didn't know, they look like fools. So I don't know what they're going to offer the guy. I don't know what, what they're going to try to do to keep him. And as noted, I mean, he likes the people that he is working with. So I don't know. It is not a foregone conclusion that Adam Cole is going to go to AEW. But, my God, I mean, how do you, how do you let Adam Cole's contract expire and not know about it until it's already occurred? They got a problem with dotting I's and crossing T's up there. How did they let Tommy Enns? Malachi Black's deal, uh, the the 90 days actually was 30. Why didn't they, you know, tighten that one up before it happened? I Look, I Adam Cole, maybe this is the reason that he's been in this feud with Kyle O'Reilly. Kept wondering, okay, why is this happening again? Because if it doesn't work out, he lays down for his friend Kyle and exits stage right. You know, maybe that's what the deal is. I, I don't know, but he is a guy that has got a lot of options, doesn't he? made his bones in ring of honor you think they would somebody there would poke somebody to say hey let's 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 get him in here you know new japan uh he he looked good over there when he was there you know he and hangman page you know people talked about the young bucks and kenny omega and you know there there were lots of guys who haven't been working new japan but you know adam cole and, and hangman page i appreciated them in new japan i hope they make their way back and if he leaves wwe he can go ahead and do that so I don't know what his plans are going to be, but he has got everything he wants at his fingertips, and he has got a spouse that is, I'm sure, making good money, who has got a a real honest-to-God dental practice and a dental job that she works too. So this guy's security level, I mean, good for him. Uh, the, the world is his oyster right now, so however he chooses... It's going to be something that he wants to do, not something that he has to do, and I think that's really cool. After nearly 10 years in his latest run with the company, Ric Flair both reportedly requested and obtained his release from WWE. Fightful and Wrestling Inc. first reported the news. No reason was given for why he wanted his release. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I don't want to talk for Ric Flair, okay? Woo! But they don't do jack with the guy. Woo! You know anything about Ric Flair? 
Woo. If Ric Flair had his way, like he'd be champion right now. He'd be the heel <laughs> champion. <laughs> and and I mean, you know, from there, uh, there are layers of what he would like to do. <laughs> but I mean, they do nothing with him. And the last thing they did with him was a storyline that I think it's it's pretty public that he thought was stupid. The whole thing with uh, Lacey Evans and she was pregnant and they teased he was the father and they backed away from it. Like, well, let's not act like that dude didn't like looking at Lacey Evans. Okay? Dude, he didn't like this and Charlotte didn't like this. Yeah, and I'm like sure it. Lacey probably wasn't thrilled with it, although she was in a, in a pushed position. <laughs> so, I mean, you can put all of this together. It shouldn't be a mystery why Ric Flair would want out if, I mean, here's the thing, everybody. I'm not saying he's going to AEW. I don't know. I don't know what they would offer him. I mean, it's true. You can't just hire everybody, okay? But do you remember the last Legends Night that WWE ran? Do you remember how they treated their legends at Legends Night? Let me find my night vision goggles. Do you remember how they treat all of their legends? Now look at how AEW treats their legends. And you're confused as to why maybe Ric Flair would not prefer to be in WWE? Giant Singh and Giant Silva. Wow. It's probably just as cool as buy a Dave Meltzer a Hiroshi Tanahashi autograph. What? I went to a Ring of Honor show with, it was Jeremy Botter, Dave Meltzer, myself. Well, there's Hiroshi Tanahashi. I went up, I introduced him. You know Dave Meltzer? Yeah, this is him. So, oh, oh, Dave Meltzer, Wrestling Observer. And I'm like, do you guys want a picture? He goes, yeah, $20. So. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.